Welcome to another long short. Fast becoming known as Austin does a professional video and I just turn the camera around and talk and waffle for 10 minutes. Anyway, I wanted to talk about um, something we picked up in today's or yesterday's last picking adventure in Sherbourne and that was a Mark Jacobs dress. Mark Jacobs is a really interesting um, brand when it comes to reselling um, as it has its highs and lows and it has different diffusions and different areas to the brand. So I thought it might be interesting to talk about because it's one of those brands I get asked about a lot. If you follow us over on the Luxury Pickers, then I have done like um, like a series of slides on the grid and it also saves the stories, you know, the highlights. Uh, talking about all the different brands that Mark Jacobs has had. Um, and has um, so if you want a visual aid or a visual reference I'll pop it on screen but you can refer back to it there as well um, but I'm going to use this dress that we picked up as an example to talk about and then I'll talk about Marc Jacobs very briefly um, all the information we try to give is sort of we try and give it in like an entertaining way so it's not just like information overload um, so we don't go into like huge massive depth but if anyone wants some huge massive depth on um Mark Jacobs and I'm sure we can help you out um but for now we're just I just sort of like give you a beginner's guide to thrifting Mark Jacobs um Austin's yesterday on Run Holtz was very informational and it was very helpful and it was very complex because Lark and Look as a gem genre is genre is really up and coming and very popular and makes consistently very good money on eBay Whereas this brand is, Marc Jacobs is more, it's more touch and go in terms of eBay comps. Um, but as a brand and as a specialist market, there are things to look out for and things to be aware of um, when purchasing and looking for it in the wild. And one of those is diffusion lines and one of those is pieces. Um, so I think this will be helpful. And if it is, then comment let us know it's really helpful just let us know i know we've been mixing up the content quite a bit recently um in terms of giving trying to give more informational videos and still picking and still doing souls and things like that so just let us know how we're doing i guess um and until then i'm going to turn it around and we're going to look at this dress and we'll talk about it okay okay so this is the number in question Oh, here it is. This is the number in question. I got it on my white wall. It is navy blue. Um, but because I use two soft boxes, obviously the the room light, and I have windows as well, um, sometimes the blue can, and it's not saturate, but it absorbs the light, so it looks darker. Um, so sometimes with the navies, I do have to lighten my pictures a little bit. But you can get the gist um, of the dress and what you didn't see in the picking video itself because i think in the picking video itself you just saw like this maybe even when i went to photograph it now i noticed how many things i hadn't noticed when we picked it up so this is what i would call an a-line uh dress um sometimes i would refer to it as an empire waist because it's more fit to the top and then it goes down however an empire waist technically is where it sort of like has like a fitted waistband almost under the bust and then drops um but it's sort of because it has this like bib feature i'll stop using my fingers because it's going out of focus because it has a sort of bib feature at the top that sort of acts to me as the waistline and drops down however in this instance um I will call it A-line, although you could also use baby doll because of the style of the dress and because of some of the dresses that Marc Jacobs produces, especially around this time, you could refer to it as baby doll because it has that sort of like kitsch, almost um, doll-like, you know, cottage core elements to it. So it's a structured dress, but it's very lightweight. It has the short cap sleeves, which have the ruffles with the elasticated um, sleeve there. So this would naturally be ruffle out 
on the arm almost creating a puff sleeve shape and obviously this is something you can't see when it's hung flat like this and sometimes this is why um, there is an important an emphasis on models especially when taking editorial pictures of high-end fashion brands so you can see how the sleeve really sits so this would probably puff out a little bit more on the actual um, body of a human being um, and then we've got the tiered frill here and this this is what I didn't notice when we were picking up this um, side button covered button detail i think that's really cool it almost gives like um victorian child uh smock dress vibes if that makes sense now this kind of dress always appeals um and like the cottage core baby doll dresses really do appeal to a more high fashion market especially in asian markets they're always really great to pick up just on style um because it has that little niche element of having that cottage core vibe you're always going to have an extended audience of people um who will layer this you can put like a you could put a tank top knit on it you could wear a long sleeve or a polo neck underneath um however you choose to wear it there's a few possibilities you can also be uh, dressed formally so you could wear it for an event or you could wear it as business attire um you could have blazer it up or wear a jacket or you could wear it casually maybe with a cute pair of tights and a boot or whatever this isn't a styling video and just letting you know in terms of a description and anything like that so they're all keywords that you can use and it depends what way you want to go uh with your listing for example i think if you run like a vintage uh shop or you run um anything that has sort of like that nature to it you could in theory go down that sort of keyword basis if you have a customer base that comes to you for vintage you could keyword it as you know victoriana or um classic ruffle you know all those sorts of things likewise if you have like a really big like y2k crowd the whole element of the baby doll and um that sort of like uh What's the word? Chintzy? Is chintzy the word I'm looking for? Um, maybe, or kitsch, sort of like, um, it's like high-end kitsch. It's got elements of sort of over-exaggerated features. Um, so it just depends um, what your audience is looking for. And if you have an audience or if you want to aim for that, if you want to be more broad, for me, for example, because we obviously do a lot of high-end, but we have some sort of high-end high street as well, um, I'm probably just going to stick with... Um, uh more description descriptive elements like um tiered ruffled uh i probably am going to say baby doll just to get that market um yeah i probably am oversized it's a size four american i'll spin it back around again in a minute um so it is an oversized size four american i think it's a 12 off the top of my head but i'll correct myself if i'm wrong somewhere on screen um but it is oversized shape as well. Um, but to be honest, I think if you're looking for Marc Jacobs, I don't think it's one of those brands you hugely like look for. If people look for, it's not like top of the trend list at the moment. Um, so I think actually now I'm saying it out loud, and this is obviously a learning experience, and we're you know learning and teaching as we go. Um, but description and keywords are probably going to be actual strong elements in selling this dress and listing this dress. Um, anyway, I'll spin it right around and we'll talk about the label, etc, etc, etc. So this is uh, Marc Jacobs' full line, as we said on the video, which is very important. So Marc Jacobs had several lines and this is a full line label, which looks is very similar to Mark by Marc Jacobs, except for obviously it was a Mark by Marc Jacobs. Um, but it has the same colour uh, style. So you've got the white and the grey logo on the black label. It's in American sizes. This is a great tip for when you're listing high end or listing anything that's produced or designed in another country is that generally um, wherever the designer base or the company is based it will be in that sizing so you'll find that Gucci is in Italian, uh, Celine's in French um, and likewise Burberry's normally in um, British um, although men's is obviously in size, uh, chest size, etc., so on and so forth. Marc Jacobs is American, and it is an American. Even though the dress garment itself is produced in China, uh, the 
designer is um, of American nationality. Um, and so that normally reflects in the sizing of the piece. Now, I know you could say, oh, Mark, uh, like Tom Ford designed for Gucci and it was still in Italian because the brand is Italian. Mark, my Mark Jacobs namesake brand is obviously himself. Um, this has silk in it, although you wouldn't know it. Uh, from touching it it is a silk blend silk and rayon even though silk is the less uh the lesser percentage um it's obviously the more appealing material so sometimes in the title i would put silk blend if someone's looking for uh, certain materials i've had a lot of customers um previously in the past turn down buying things because the percentage of nylon is too high and obviously um the complications with uh nylon and sustain and uh, nylon polyester and sustainability um plays a big element and um they didn't actually purchase so i try and put the i try and put the best fabric material um as highlighted but i always declare the other blended material as well um as that helps so that is the main mark jacobs label so mark jacobs has actually discontinued his other lines but one of the ones we see as thrifters i guess the most is mark by mark jacobs so that was a diffusion line which focused on ready to wear but it had obviously an influence and a thread of sort of like design influence from uh, mainline Marc Jacobs. And you can find that some of the Marc by Marc Jacobs pieces actually go for more than the Marc Jacobs because they were worn in sitcoms or they have like a cult following um, or um, something like that. Marc Jacobs was very popular as a designer in the 2000s and was very influential in the 2000s. Um, uh, so that will be reflected in the popularity and the re- uh, the resale of some of his items for example i had that rock and roll shirt if anyone follows us on instagram it's probably over there that sold um and that was worn by uh christina aguilera and it was also worn by lorelei in the gilmore girls um but if you can find reference to that and include pictures of that it's always helpful especially if people are looking for certain cult items especially if like these y2k pieces like i know like the obviously the juicy couture track suits and anything worn by like paris hilton or anyone like that um during the early 2000s always helps but mark by jack mark jacobs has been discontinued and it was slightly cheaper than the main line and the resale prices reflect this and there was a lot of pieces made so that is also reflected on the resale market but like i said if you can find pieces that have like influence of the high end of the main line and things like that you can achieve better prices than ebay comps are showing um cross listing over to vestiaires for a good example uh depop um where the y2k is hang out um is always a great place to sell those sorts of items this has obviously as a mainline dress this has um uh demands a higher price anyway but it also is a very well designed piece and has a lot of features that people would desire um, and that helps sell in the piece so when it comes to mark jacobs one of the things to consider when picking up obviously is price point how much you're paying and how much you expect to return um, you use google lens google lens is quite good sometimes at finding reference to whether it's been worn um on in a tv program i know a lot of mark jacobs was used during gossip girl and some of those private pieces and the uh, pieces worn by blair waldoff um can go for really really good money um anything special with a special material makeup anything that just stands out to you and you think whoa maybe you think i wouldn't wear that or maybe you think whoa that's that's impressive um just go with gut instinct um and um design features is one of the things i can recommend in any brand and when looking up any brand is go if you use ebay as your main platform go onto ebay search mark jacob search mark jacob dresses search mark jacob shoes and just go to highest price sold and you can see what kind of things are selling for the highest prices it might be coats it might be dresses i know for in the dresses department there's like this gold ruffle dress worn by blair in um uh, gossip girl and those are hitting like bit 300 quid like they're very popular and very highly desired um so mark jacobs is one of those sort of like trend driven brands if that makes sense um he's been doing a lot of reshuffling with his business and a lot of different um 
made a lot of different decisions towards the business, which is interesting. So you have Mark Jacobs and then the discontinued brands are Jacobs by Mark Jacobs, Mark by Mark Jacobs. He also has Bookmark, which is a bookshop. And then he also has Little Mark Jacobs, which is still going. And he also has Heaven or Haven, I can never remember, which is like a, I quit like a, it, they, they say it takes influence from early 2000 grunge. So I think it's sort of like paying homage to his his roots and his start in the early 2000s. Um, so that's very interesting. But I have never found any of that in the world as of yet. They're still quite young as a brand and has a um, company. Technically, it's Mark Jacobs, but you know what I mean. So basically, tips on picking up Mark Jacobs is design whether it stands out or you think it would stand out to another human being, whether it's been worn by anyone or been featured in anything or has notes to either of those two. So it has something on it like rhinestones or something special about it, or it looks similar to something that's been featured in a uh, show. Obviously, price point, what you're picking it up for. Um, some pieces can go really, really well. For example, I'm going to list this dress for 150 upwards, just based on design and the fact it is main label. Um, and I sold the rock and roll shirt for, uh, it was above, I think it was 70. I think, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yes, that's another great point for picking up Mark Jacobs. The line that it's come from, whether it's from Mark by Mark Jacobs, whether it's come from mainline Mark Jacobs, um, those are all things to consider when picking up Mark Jacobs. A lot of people choose not to pick it up because they can't sell it for a, a lot of money. And I'm not going to say it's going to fly out the door because Mark Jacobs isn't a flyer. However, if you pick the right pieces, um, the right designs in the right materials, um, it's well worth picking up and you can still achieve those three figure numbers has that helped i don't know if it's helped i don't know if i started rambling um anyway i wanted to show you the dress i wanted to talk to you a bit about mark jacobs and i hope i hope it's helped maybe it hasn't maybe it has you let me know